it, when this drag conversation, you know, like he's talked about, it's like people always ask what drag should I be on? And like the analogy that I came up with a month ago, just talking to a guy about it was like, that's like me and you getting on a bike and you telling me, you turning to me and going like, what gear should I put it on? I have absolutely no idea. You know, like that nobody would ever ask anybody else that question. That's insane. What bike is it? Are we riding uphill or downhill? How far are we going, right? Like most people, when they get on a bike, can find the gear that they like, where this is providing me the right amount of resistance for the riding that we're doing right now, right? We feel when it's too heavy and we feel when it's too light and we use the little shifters to find the resistance that we want. Same thing on the earth, right? All of that thing is, is just switching gears, right? So play around with it. And like, I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to move it down an inch. Did it feel better? If it felt better, then you just need to row at that different drag. Because as we reduce the drag factor, where we have to do the work changes. You know what I'm saying? A lower drag is going to be much more mid-drive and send. A higher drag is going to be much more more on the front end. I would just say move it around, ignore what the watts are and focus on what it feels like. If you are more comfortable and you like it better, you can figure out how to make make the changes to make the watts go up.